Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Tarara 1943 from Worthington Publishing. This is a solitaire friendly, this is a solitaire game, a single player SPO. And uh, let's crack it open, take a look what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, so this is a block game for the Battle of Tarara. And again, like I said, it is a solo game, so it'd be interesting. I do like that artwork on there. The beachhead. Let's see what we got here. All right, so you got your uh, score record pads here. Now you do track. How you did each time. It's nice they've been including these in a lot of games lately. So you can uh, keep up with everything. And then we've got our labels. These are a nice glossy, thick label stock. And it looks like one sheet of labels. So you got your standard labels, it says here. You got spare standard labels, and you got bonus alternative labels. So, I guess they had space and they give you some extra labels so you can choose which way you want to, to use them. And we've got the rule book. It's a nice thick box too. To hold all this, all those blocks. All right, so here's our rule book. And you got the artwork on the cover. It's glossy, full color, 12 pages though. And as usual, the large print that Worthington does. Showing the sequence of play, how to make the markers and the blocks. And then you've got the battle manual. This is a thicker book. This is a 24 page book. And looks like it talks about the various cards that are available. Design notes about each card. Art of the game. Some historical notes. It's kind of a nice reference guide they give you. All right, and then we've got our board. It is a four panel board. It's not too big. Let's take a look at it. So it's nice that it's uh, not gonna take up a lot of table space. Pull back a little bit here. See the whole thing. There you go. All right. So it's roughly 22 by 17 or so. So you've got uh, obviously some locations here. You've got the map of the island uh, in pretty good detail, telling you what's, what's around, what's here. Uh, the different beaches, the different locations you can come through. Uh, you got the different regiments, the 2nd Marine Regiment, the 6th Marine Regiment, the 8th Marine Regiments. Uh, Japanese drawn discard piles, we're going to have some cards, and Marine drawn discard piles. Charts are right on the board for the uh, Marine Corps battalions and the Japanese fire attack and the bonsai attacks. And then we've got one of their nice uh, organizing trays with a lid, as you can see. So let's pull that off. They made the lids a little, uh, a little more shallow too, which is nice because you can put them on and get them off easily instead of being full height of the tray and then you gotta take the whole tray out and try to get it out. So that works out really well. All right, what have they given us here? With a set of seven green dice. And again, they all work. Yahtzee, no, four of a kind. All right, some bags to store your counters in, of which there are none. There are basically just blocks and cards. The cards have started out kind of life kind of bent here. Like when they were printed, they got some humidity in them. So uh, let's take a look at those. So they are mixed together here. We have U.S. Marine Corps and the Japanese 
cards here and they are all you'll have to separate them out oh. kind of got like a kind of a nice comic feel not that they're making light of the battle or anything but just the the, the flavor is the font kind of reminds me of uh worthington's other game um man of brothers uh, so it's not it's not it's not disrespectful it's just a it's just a nice nice feel there so these are cards for both sides they do are linen they're not just a linen finish they i mean they actually are linen they've got the grooves the texture to them so it does make kind of like separating them kind of a pain because they want to grip so you're probably definitely going to want to sleeve them but you probably sleeve them anyway so uh very cool it's like kind of like a two-player a uh, single player, excuse me, a single player block game. So that's kind of cool. Some of these have dice rolls on them. All right, so you got a Dex O cards, two that are kind of like mixed in together. You can see the striation there of the different ones. And then, I mean, other than that, you got uh, you got blocks. Yellow for the Japanese, green for the United States Marine Corps, and then some. Uh, some cubes as well. I we got some red and some uh, brown and yellow tracking cubes. So if you pick up a copy of Tarara 1943 from Worthington Publishing, you're gonna get all these all these wooden pieces. You're gonna get some bags. You're gonna get two decks of cards. You're gonna get seven dice. Goodness gracious! You're gonna get a lid and a dice organizing tray. You're gonna get this four panel game board. It's very smooth too. You're going to get the battle manual with a lot of historical reference and game design reference notes. A rule book and a sheet of stickers so that you can have fun uh, stickering blocks. And a scoring pad. And that is everything that comes in. Tarara 1943 by Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh.